Hey everyone, this is going to be another collection video, and in this video I thought it would be fun to show you uh, my entire collection of Disney Movie Club DVDs and Blu-rays. These are all exclusive to the Disney Movie Club, meaning that you have to be a member of Disney Movie Club to purchase these titles, and you can't buy them anywhere else. They're not sold in stores, they're not sold on uh, in any other online uh, places, so you have to be a Disney Movie Club member in order to get the the titles that I'm going to show you And I don't have all of them by any means. Um, I basically have just picked up a lot of the titles that I like or that I want um, You know titles that are interesting to me, but there are a lot more that are on uh, their website there if you're a member There is one exception to this of course if you want to pick up a title or two of these is uh, you can buy them from you know eBay or Amazon a lot of times there are some people who are members of Disney Movie Club who you know just buy titles and resell them on eBay for a profit because um, you know if it's it's easy it's easier for some people just to not you know they just maybe want a title or two from this selection they don't want to join the entire Disney Movie Club and go through that whole hassle so it's it's worth them to worth it for them to pay an extra you know pay an extra cost just to get the title um, from a reseller and um, it, you know just go that way so that's that's another way that you can get some of these titles you're just gonna have to you know pay a lot more um, but you know you pay a lot more so that you don't have to go through the hassle of being a Disney Movie Club member so anyways um, I'm just gonna show you the titles that I have and I you know these are, I'm going to do the DVDs first, then the Blu-rays, and like I said again, I don't have all of them, I just have the ones that uh, I've purchased over the years that I've been interested in. So, um, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and start with a lot of these, and there are still a lot of these that I haven't even seen yet. This is one that's included, uh, The Magnificent Rebel. It just seemed interesting to me because it's, uh, you know, kind of a music-related uh, title, but I have not watched it yet. Here's what we get inside, one disc and a Disney Movie Rewards code. Next up is Moon Pilot, an out of this world adventure. Just seemed interesting. Um, yeah, so, haven't yet seen it, but it looks interesting, so. And inside we get the disc, and this one actually comes with some really nice artwork. Um, let's see, we also get Disney Movie Rewards, and it has an advertisement in here. I'll pull this out actually just to show you. Um, advertising a lot of uh, other Disney Movie Club exclusive titles. Now this is uh, um, this is an earlier this is an earlier release from the Disney Movie Club because usually more 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 modern ones don't really come with uh, you know inserts or anything like that. So, but it highlights some of the other titles that um, uh, that you can get from the Disney Movie Club. And I don't. I think that uh, most of these are still available, but some of them might be out of print. Uh, I know that Ducktales: Treasure of the Lost Lamp. You can see it with this artwork here. Uh, that got reissued um, one or two times. So, um, you know, you can. I think you can still get that on the Disney Movie Club, but the artwork is different. And then, like this one called uh, Zorro here on the back. I'm not sure if that one is still available or not. So. Um, yeah, ones that are out of print, you might your only option might be to get those on eBay or something uh, from some other sellers. But anyways, moving along, Dad, can I borrow the car? Haven't seen this one yet either, but it looks uh, kind of interesting. Inside here, we just get the one DVD and a Disney Movie Club insert. And then here's an interesting one. I have watched this around Christmas time. Disney's Magical Fireplace. Kind of an odd one, odd one, um, but it's uh, yeah, it's it's kind of nice to just uh, put it on around Christmas time. And it's it's basically one of those typical fireplace kind of kind of videos um, that you just put on your TV. But it kind of has like Disney characters kind of popping in and out every now and then. So it's kind of fun. Plain gray disc inside. Disney Movie Rewards code. Here's another uh, Christmas title, Darkwing Duck, It's a Wonderful Leaf. This is just one uh, episode of Darkwing Duck. It's just, uh, you know, 22 minutes long or whatever it is. So um, not a very long title at all, but uh, a good Christmas episode anyways. And it's got nice artwork on the disc inside here, which is pretty cool. And this one also does have uh, that insert inside 
I think it's a little bit different than the other one. So I'll just show you that really quick. So there it is. And like I said, you know, some of these titles might not be available anymore, but I think at least some of them are. And you can see that, uh, you know, the Zorro artwork on the back here. They, it looks like they've changed that up once or twice. So, kind of interesting. Uh, then the next one, The Weekenders, Volume 1, on DVD, of course. So in, inside here, Disney Movie Rewards. Then we've got uh, disc number one, and then disc number two. And we've got The Weekenders, Volume 2. Then inside here we've got uh, the insert, and disc one, and disc two. Next up is Doug's first movie. And this one has just one disc, and uh, the Disney Movie Rewards. And you guys will see that, you know, a lot of the, uh, you know, a lot of the stuff inside is, you know, it's not like super, you know, fancy or anything. Um, the way they seem to do it with a lot of these Disney Movie Club exclusive titles is that, um, you know, these are titles that aren't like extremely popular, at least some of them anyways. So we're, we're kind of getting sort of bare bones releases from for these in many ways, and you'll see that a lot with the Blu-rays too. But the whole thing about it is it's like, you know, these are titles that are a little bit more obscure and, you know, maybe not as popular and probably wouldn't sell as well in the in the, in the big stores or whatever, but um, it's just, the whole point is that we're getting these on physical media. We're getting them, getting them on Blu-ray, we're getting them on DVD, and that's what's great about it. So, you know, even, they're, even though they're a little bit bare bones inside, it's like, you know, we're getting them, we're getting these on physical copies, and that's what's the most important. So, um, yeah, that's just kind of one point I wanted to make about that. DuckTales Volume 4 right here. And then inside, I actually really like this uh, plain white art artwork for some reason. I just think that looks kind of cool, but uh, there's those discs. Um, also has a Disney Movie Rewards insert. And then finishing off the DVD collection that I have with uh, Kim Possible, the first season right here. It's a pretty nice box set. Although I do have to say, just with my personal preference, it would be nice if they would reissue this in a kind of like a standard size DVD case like DuckTales here. But it is still uh, very nice. It's, um, yeah, just very good quality overall. Uh, I guess I got disc three here first. And then disc two. And then finishing off with disc one right here. And this one has the Disney Movie Rewards insert. And finally, we've got uh, the second season of Kim Possible here on DVD. So there's the outer box. We'll take a look at each of the discs, starting here with disc three. And then disc number two. And finally, disc number one. And that one's got Disney Movie Rewards inside there. And next we'll move on to the Blu-rays here, and almost all of these do not have slipcovers. The only one that I have that does have a slipcover is Old Yeller, and this was the first um, first one of these that I ever picked up on Blu-ray from Disney Movie Club, and this might have been actually one of the first uh, Blu-ray releases as a Disney Movie Club exclusive here. 
And um, so, so that's why this one, you know, they released it with a slip cover. Um, but then the rest of them, they just never came with them. So I, you know, this was something they kind of did at first, but then they decided not to do the slip covers with any of the uh, remaining titles. So this is kind of the odd duck. Um, but, you know, that's what makes it a little unique, I guess. It looks nice. So there is Old Yeller. Here's a look at the back. And then here's a look at the actual uh, Blu-ray packaging. So if you were to buy this right now from Disney Movie Club, I'm guessing this is how you'd get it. I don't think you would get a slipcover. Um, sorry to say, but um, I'm not 100% sure about that, so I won't say for sure. But anyway, here's what we get inside. Just a standard blue, and that's how all of these are. Um, and Disney Movie Rewards Code. Then the next one I've got here is... I'll Be Home for Christmas. This is a favorite of mine from uh, when I was little. used to watch this on VHS all the time. So this is a pretty cool release. There it is. And next up we've got Swiss, Flan uh, Swiss Family Robinson. And uh, I remember watching this one a couple times uh, as well when I was younger. So pretty entertaining movie. And then next up we get into a few titles that I still haven't yet watched, but uh, they seem interesting. The Absent-Minded Professor. And next up is Son of Flubber. You can see this is a really old one. This is, a, this is actually a black and white film. And next up is another classic that I used to watch back in the day, Rocket Man. And next up we've got The Parent Trap, and this is the original one, uh, the old school one, if you will. And next up is the more modern remake from 1998, I believe it was, of The Parent Trap with Lindsay Lohan. So here is that one. This one, uh, I haven't actually watched this one yet, but um, this one I have seen um, quite a few times. So I like this one. So there's that. And here's what we get inside. And next up we've got Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, another classic, really enjoy this one. And there's the back. And next up we've got Honey, I Blew Up the Kid. And this one I didn't watch nearly as much as Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, but uh, still a good one. And next up we've got Mighty Joe Young. I'm actually not sure if I've uh, if I watched this one when I was uh, little or not. I haven't I haven't actually watched this Blu-ray yet. Um, but yeah, it's uh, yeah. So I'm not sure if I've seen this or not. If I if I have seen it, it's been a long time. And next up we've got Jungle 2 Jungle. This one didn't come with a Disney Movie Rewards, um, and that might have been—I uh, don't—I'm not sure if that was just, um, yeah, that might have actually been a um, a flaw. I was probably supposed to get an insert, but yeah, because you can see it has the Disney Movie Rewards uh, down there, but I didn't get one, I don't think. Next up is George of the Jungle. And next up is uh, one of my favorites as well. I watched this uh, 
alongside reading the book uh, back when I was in school. So this one is Holes, and I thought this was a really well done movie. And next up we're going into the Mighty Ducks trilogy here. So this is the first one. And next up we've got D2. And finally, D3. And next up here we've got Snow Dogs. And this one again did not come with, uh, come with that Disney Movie Rewards. Uh, code. And next up, Cool Runnings. And next, Saludos Amigos and the Three Caballeros. Nice double feature here. And next up we've got Pooh's Grand Adventure, The Search for Christopher Robin. Some of these Winnie the Pooh titles I'm actually really surprised, um, you know, got released as Disney Movie Club exclusives because, you know, I would think that these titles might sell well in the stores, um, but apparently they thought that this was the best way to go with these. So in any case, here it is. And next up we've got Piglet's Big Movie. And last but certainly not least, since these are these are my absolute favorites, we've got um, a goofy movie right here and then an extremely goofy movie down there, which I'll show you in a second. They have um, new artwork for these, which is pretty cool. Um, so here they are. And uh, the, you know, a goofy movie was my favorite movie when I was growing up, I would say. And um, you know, it remains one of my favorites to this day. So really really good that uh, this got released on uh, blu-ray here so I'm really happy about that and uh, no you know it doesn't come with any bonus features like I kind of mentioned earlier you know these are pretty bare bones releases so I, I, I kept my DVD copies uh, of, of these two just because they had the bonus features and this one doesn't come with anything but you know it's just really great that this got a blu-ray release I'm really really happy that you know to have that on blu-ray and same with an extremely goofy movie and again newer artwork on it uh, which is pretty interesting so there's that there's the spine here's the back and here's what we get inside so with that all said and done that is my collection um, you know my entire collection of Disney Movie Club exclusive DVDs and Blu-rays and like I said there's many more titles that are out there um, I just uh, these are the, just the ones that I decided to pick up because they're the ones I like so um, yeah that's about all I have to say and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next video